Open field. First move, computer. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. You always start with that. Player. Draw card. Mana charge. There's a swordsman. Um. Yeah, we'll play some tree foxes. Just get onto the board. When we eventually want to scan, come on, we've had weeks of being fine. Now we'll start now. Reset the camera a bit. There we go. Mana release. Summon. We got there. Computer. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. White cubic. A huge surprise. Player. Draw card. Mana charge. Frost guards. As always, cubic is not a good thing, so... That's a bit overkill. Still, I can't get enough the next Citadel out, which I have at the back. To do a magic damage to the cubic and kill it, because the summoning lock is still on. So! Behold! Mana release. My frosty boys. Summon. Nice, cheap, Attack. high health. And has enough damage to kill this, providing it doesn't dodge. Bastard! <laughs> well, the summoning lock's off now, so providing it doesn't transform it. Unlocked. It's going to get its ass zapped next turn. Computer. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Right, that side of the board. Part more Warhound. That's just a secure high health creature now. Rather nice, and it gives it magic protection, I Play. believe. Draw card. Which could Mana make charge. this a bit of an issue. Yeah. Goblin Bomber. You're not gonna help too much. Let me make sure before I do something very stupid. Status. Allied creatures on adjacent field gain one magic protection. Bollocks! Um. So I can't hit it with one magic now because it'll get resisted. That's a pretty protected cubic. The only way to kill it is if I attack it with a melee weapon character and it just goes through. It's a reasonable thing to assume because it's 50-50 chance. 
But, I also need to keep up with him, so I'm going to just summon one health. Mana There's our swordsman. Summon. I am leaving a blind spot behind them. Facing that top left corner. Attack. Anything that deals two damage will kill them. But for one cost, I'm dealing two damage to him. Without counterattack. So that's not too bad. Computer. Draw card. Don't summon in that top left corner. Mana charge. Mana release. Okay. This summon. might be a flame lizard archer. Nope, it's a battle buggy. That deals two damage. Attack. Right, those are some dead swordsmen then, because he's gonna get plus one for the blind side. Shit. <laughs> That's the only word for that. Shit. I now need to deal two damage. Or player. Draw card. Pray that I kill the mana charge. Uh cubic. Flame arc mage. Oh, that's a new option. The Arc Mage deals two magic damage. One would get absorbed by the magic protection, the other one would go through and kill the cubic. Or it would kill doggos. Oh my. If only I had six mana. Then, I could try and kill the cubic with the cross guards. Whether it failed or not, I could then kill the dogs. Hum diddy hum diddy hum diddy hum. There's no other way I can do that. I can... No, I can't. Eh, in for a penny, in for a pound. Mana release. Play Mark Mage. Summon. Now the question is, which one do I actually attack? I've also just realised I may have misplayed myself a bit there. I put it behind my frost guards. So if my frost guards attack, they're going to hit my arc mage. Well that was a bit dumb. Trying to think of future turns, what I can do. At the moment, I'm a bit lost, so just get rid of the okay. cubic. I think I've spent sunk too much mana into trying to kill it. Old friends, lend me your Retrospect now, but it's dead. He's got the mana advantage. He's got the number mana advantage. Charge. He's going to be in check again next turn if he summons something. Computer, draw card. And I've got to kill something, and I don't think I'm going to have to do anything. Mana release. Which he did. Summon. Shadow Diver always attacks the rear of its target, and it has dodge, apparently. Attack. So this is going to reduce my arc mage down to one. That's a bugger for a five cost. Ah oh, crap! Check. Player. Draw card. Mana charge. 
Blame all this. Either way I do this, it's not going well. Looking at this, I have to attack the dogs. If I attack his flame diver, it's got some kind of dodge. So, I'm going to do flame novice. Flame novice adds one to its attack half the time. Each adjacent enemy gets minus one HP for each of its dodge attempts. So we're in a bit of a praying situation here, that this gains its extra attack. Mana release. If it doesn't, Summon. we're playing a bit of a wishing game. Which, seen as the last space is a biolith, it's probably going to summon attack. anything anyway. Yes! That's what I wanted. Sweet dreams. Orange is on my side. Fuck you, doggos. <laughs> Mana charge. Mana release. Oh shit. He did return. Okay. Check. Computer. So return allows you to spend the cost of the Mana card charge. to bring it back to your hand. Mana release. Summon. Which he did. Dwarf sniper, I assume that guy's just gonna kill my Archmage. Attack. No. Oh. Archmage is dead anyway, because these guys are now gonna counter-attack. And it's actually friendly fire. Well, fuck you, asshole. Mana charge. Ah, oh, that's not fun. Check. Player. Draw card. <laughs> Mana charge. I don't approve of this in any manner. It's very rude. My own dwarf sniper. Right. I'll be playing a bit of tip tap here. I'd like to do Dwarf Sniper, but the only thing I have to kill... Oh no, hang on, hang on, uh, wait, wait a second, wait a cotton picking second. I can activate my Frost Guards again, they'll deal one damage to the Dwarf Sniper. I can then deal... I can then summon some... Doggos. Where's my Doggos? There they are. Then summon some Doggos to kill the Sniper. That will leave me with one mana for the next turn. I'll gain two automatically. And I'll be able to ping his guy in the top left, provided I survive. Right, we're gonna do this. The alternative is I just summon some of the the frost guards, okay. and they and it pings the top left corner. I want to avoid that. I want to avoid some friendly fire like I've just done. These are gonna fight back, but the tanky boys that can take it, it's fine. Famous last words. And now, Partmall 
warhounds in the place where his were. Summon. Now this does a few things. One, I can kill his snipers. Two, it gives that guy magic protection. And three, Attack. if I'd have killed the uh, shadow diver in the top left corner, it'd expose my uh, flame novice in the top middle, who's only got one health. So the computer could just summon behind him and kill him. Now it can't do that. Computer. Draw card. So. Mana charge. Your move. Mana release. Two cost. Summon. Part more Warhound. That gives magic protection to him. Attack. That's not going to kill them. They're not going to attack. Counter attack. Check. Player. That puts him in check Walk and around. it gives me the ability to Mind do whatever the hell I want. Byleth Temple. That is not going to win. <laughs> I've never used a Byleth Temple and it looks like I'm going to continue that streak. So just summon anything, anywhere and Ah, uh, fine. Tell you what, we'll hit the one card that started all of this. Oh, they failed to attract one for the activation cost of all my creature. Ooh, never actually done that. Pretty, that's pretty good. Let's smack these guys for claiming that bottom field Summon. immediately. In hindsight, I shouldn't have played that part mage where I did. If I'd have played it in the top centre field, it wouldn't have been able to get hit in a friendly fire way. Well, it worked out. Player wins. <laughs>